I'm Rob Ito, the traveling hypnotherapist, and I travel to help heal people with hypnosis. And this is Margarita. Margarita, yeah. would, you, would you like to just introduce yourself a little bit? This video is for people that might be interested in trying hypnosis with me. Okay, so hi, everybody. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Margarita. Uh, I come from Italy. I'm 32. Um, and so I met Rubito during my trip. Uh, it was really the last day of my trip after three months that I was traveling around France, Spain and Portugal. And um, so it was an interesting meeting that <laughs> I, yeah. I had the, the last night of my trip. So it was really interesting. Yeah, it was, wow, what a, 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 an interesting finish to your, to your traveling yeah. adventures before you went back to Italy. Yeah. All right, yeah, so we, we came back to the hostel. We did one, uh, one session. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, first of all then, so it was like two and a half weeks ago. So I was just wondering, um, how did you feel after the session? And is the, are there any changes that seem to be kind of permanent or lasting uh, since then? Yeah, so um, just one thing about my situation before, because it was like three months that I was traveling trying to to go in inside my fears and when I arrived like at the end of my trip I I discovered other fears that I felt and uh, when I met uh, Robito it was a moment in my life in which I had a lot of fears and I so the idea for me it was trying to 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 leave that fears and at the world and, and leave it uh, uh, for not having it more in my life. So during the session, it was, um, so no, what about after the session, you asked me. Uh, after I had like a sensation of, um, like if I was like really happy, you know, when you are happy, when you are like just a little bit drunk, not, not too much, okay? And if you're feeling really uh, light, so, uh, it's like if you are um, really light and like flying on the world and so it was a good sensation um, yeah like if you are like a height just a little bit uh, and you feeling with a happiness inside yourself and so later I, I came back to my hostel by walking in this condition, really relaxed condition. I arrived in the hostel, I prepared my uh, my things for the trip of the day. Yeah, you needed to pack afterwards, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was strange because when I went to the bed, I was thinking, okay, I will sleep in a second, but uh, I started feeling with a lot of, um, it was not as agitation, it was like um, excitation, you know? Um, and so, yeah, it was interesting also to feel this sensation. And um, it was maybe also about the trip that I had to do the day, the day after, but it was really a, a mix of emotions and sensation. And it was interesting because during the, um, the day later, I felt really, um, at the beginning, I felt a lot of the, the fears that I had, I felt really in a, in a strong way, like trying analyze, um, analyzing these fears. But after some days, it was like if everything disappeared. And it's really there are like two weeks uh, in which I feel myself really in a light way, really for the first time in my life in the now and here. Um, wow. Mm. wow. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. messaged you messaged me um, that you couldn't sleep. That yeah. I think it was the first night afterwards. Um, and some people sleep like a baby, like really well, and other people can't sleep. And it was uh, it's what I said to you at the end of the session. It was this when I talked about the snowball. 
-hmm. probably if I remembered because I usually say that to everybody is at the end of the session uh, you know like um, one of those snowballs that you shake we we went into your subconscious and we we played around a bit and then everything just kind of falls back down again and then it takes a day or two for everything just to settle down like snow just kind of settling down again and for some people that means that some emotions or some thoughts might come up when they're trying to sleep um, or during the day for the next one or two days and for other people it can be a, a, a different experience they can sleep really really well but yeah so you you had trouble sleeping that first night but then you said over the next few days living more in the now than you ever have that's amazing yeah, yeah. it's very interesting and so and now to, yeah things that i feel also also now eh? it's still here this sensation so great and um, my webcam is on its way so we did say we were going to try an online session as well once that arrives so that that'll be good because we'll do another we'll start with just another emotional cleaning just to see if there's anything left because the emotional cleaning you can just keep doing it until when you do it it just feels like I'm just clearing out the stresses from today or from the last, you know, just just normal everyday stresses. But all of the big stuff has yeah. has gone, you know. So if we try that again, then we might find that it's all clear now or we might find that there's still some other things that come up as well. If you still want to do it, of course. Yeah, sure. So no, no, no it, it could be interesting. Um I'm just thinking because um, sure there are other things because also I'm doing um, uh, a work. In these days, I'm just trying to do like the um, genealogical tree. I don't know if you call like this in, in English. Uh, like the family you know, tree. Yeah, the family tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so there are a lot of things that there are coming a lot of new information also some things that I didn't know um, so yeah it's a moment in which I'm full of information full of emotions so uh, I think that <laughs> maybe it could be um, good uh, because other fears are starting <laughs> I think that's my problem. There are always fears <laughs> when I finish with one, other another one arriving, or maybe it was yet over there, but I didn't know. Um, um, yeah, and also, so I'm in a moment in which I have a project in which I I want to work, and um, I really, I really, I'm exciting about this project, but I'm waiting because I will start in the next week working on that with a with a guy and um, I'm really excited on that. And I, I know that I'm, I'm seeing that sometimes it's like if I'm fear to speak about this project to other person, because I'm fear that if I'm telling to other person that it's not ready the project, the things maybe the project um, will, will be not um, really. So it's like if I tell to the other people that I'm feeling good, that everything is really good for me now in this moment, I fear that if I'm telling to the other people, it can disappear. Mm. Yeah. So I think that it's a uh, auto-destruction way maybe or... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fear like... Um... Yeah, fear related to failure or like uh, confidence and things like that. Mm -hmm. That's, I think in our session, the first thing we did was the emotional cleaning. Mm -hmm. So can I just ask you, when we did that emotional cleaning and, and I asked you to release any negative images, feelings, thoughts, emotions or sensations, how did that feel when you were, mm -hmm. when, as you were going through that? Yeah, so during the session it was really strong because at the beginning, I felt like a, a magnet on my, I don't know how you call it here, like uh, diaphragm more or less at the level of the hair, mm -hmm. I felt like a magnet that it was push my, my body and, and it was like a, if in that moment, 
I, I'm starting crying. I'm starting crying that moment when I felt this, this mic, magnet inside myself. I started crying a lot. And um, when we started to, to push in up, upstairs, the fears, um, I really felt that them going upstairs. And I felt that they were like blocked at the level of my, of the voice. Mm -hmm. And so we tried other times to, uh, so during the session, we, we tried different times to, um, to, to leave release them. them. Going, yeah. yeah. To unblock and, uh, them, release them and let them really go. <laughs> Could yeah. you then feel them like coming out, like phew, relief, like phew, coming out, or? Yeah, and I, for me, it was really important to the breathe, also, to use more mouth and nose to breathe, and mm. leave them going outside. Yeah. Yeah. Some people they actually phew, like breathe them out. They actually feel that they they come out through the mouth. Um, rather than just imagining that they're just kind of being released out of the top of the head. So for you, it was more like you were breathing them out, kind of re yeah. like a release, like coming out. After that, I brought you back. And then uh, we went to the control room, um, which is a, a, a room that I take people that has like dials and knobs and switches and there's one for, for confidence and one for fear and et cetera. And then we turned, I think we turned your fear down and then we, I think even yeah. perhaps broke the, uh, what I was that? just forgot it, the things, but it was really interesting. That's, that's now to, to remember this situation, this moment, because it was there, there was like the, um, how you call the, the control, yeah, of the fear. And I, at the beginning, it was like if the control, it was like uh, really, really long. In, in, there was not a hand of the control. Um, but in a moment, I perceived that I, I put down, totally down the control. And so the control disappeared. Mm. So it was really interesting because I really imagined myself in a room. It was like, I don't know if you know the, the movie, um, what is the name of the movie, in which there are all the emotion. It's like a, a movie for children. Oh, yeah, Pixar movie. Yeah, I've forgotten the name, but yeah, I've uh, seen it. Yeah. There are the different emotion, and they have really the control of the situation uh, in the life of, the, of this girl. And I perceive like the same, uh, that I was like in a room, like similar like that. And I really perceived the control that at the beginning, it, there was not the hand of the control. I say, oh, fuck, <laughs> uh, how can I do it? But at the end, it was totally disappeared, the control of the fear. So, wow. Yeah, yeah. It was a, was it a switch? No, no uh, so there's a knob, no, it there's was a switch. Like, no, uh, no, it was like, I don't know how you call it. Uh, there was like, um, oof, how you can say um in which you oh, lever lever yeah yeah, on a, yeah. and I you rem... turned down so it was I... down 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 and this yeah was... and you said you couldn't you were surprised that it was there was so much of it you know that you could pull it yeah. for so long exactly, exactly. Yeah. but finally it, it went down of the level so yeah it was like this up here so it was really strong mm. And then we finished with going back to your younger self. Yeah. And yeah. seeing, going back to an old memory and giving yourself a hug. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Was that, um, what was it, what was it like to be in hypnosis? Was it, was it real? Was it like you were there? Was it more like uh, kind of you were watching it from above or how did it, how was it? It was like if um, I saw I saw myself in two different moments of my life. I mean, when I was ch a child, so, and with my hair, with the, the little things on the head, and, things, uh, yeah. Yeah. and the other times it was when I was um, adolescent. 
so like 15 or 16. It was in my bedroom, in my adolescent bedroom. So even when I when I was child, but it was in my adolescent bedroom. That it's this bedroom <laughs> because I came back in this bedroom now, and and it was like if I saw the myself from outside. So I it was me but I saw these two different persons in two different moments. And um, there was really, as I remember, maybe also through by by picture that I saw and photography and some things like this. And, um, but it was really, it was really, okay. There there was really person, okay. Mm -hmm. And I know that, that it was my, it was me. Uh, child or adolescent but there was really yeah it was it was real it felt completely real yeah. and I asked you to hug yourself and could you feel yourself in your arms yeah I felt I felt like myself Margarita in that moment of the session hug these two different person in two different moment like um, like a sister no with the with the love of, of a sister but it was the with the love of myself mm. Mm. and yeah and I felt a lot of colors and and warm also mm. yeah I, I mean that's also it's well an amazing experience and it, it's the, one of the reasons, obviously, is to help the person to remember what they felt like when the when they were stress free, when they were happy, when they were enthusiastic, when they were confident, and to to really just kind of go back and remember how we felt when we were kind of more innocent and more free and less pressure from the outside world. So yeah, and then. And then I think, and that was it. And then I think I brought you back and we talked about it. And then you had to go and pack and fly back to Italy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 And I was really coming back in, in my adolescent, uh, adolescent bedroom also. So uh, it was strange. <laughs> same one from the from the from when you the the, the age that you went back to yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. oh yeah it was a little bit strange but nice so and also i think that it was also because it was at the end of a trip so i spent three months working really a lot of myself but also the relationships with my family i think that it's better now and um, yeah, but sure, because the relationship with myself is better. So. Thank you very much, Margarita. We'll stop there for now for this video. If anybody would like to try hypnosis with me, then they can go to robito.info and then they can contact me by email or WhatsApp. I'm gonna stop this video now and then, uh, and then we'll just continue to have a little bit of a chat about the um you know the this the, the 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 next session just to check and well we'll talk about it more after i stop this video so thank you very much thank you to you <laughs>